Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do extreme contouring. This is definitely not what you want to do every day. This is just the extreme part of it. So here I, what I'm going to be doing is applying my new foundation that I just purchased, which is the Revlon 2-in-1 Colorstay foundation and concealer. And I'm going to be applying that with a flat foundation brush and then buffing it in with my Rockabelle Cosmetics Flat Domed, Flat Domed, that makes no sense, my flat foundation brush. And for the eyebrows, I'm just going to be taking that same shade that I normally do for my eyebrows and I'm just going to be filling them in and going ham on these eyebrows because damn, it, why not, eh? <laughs> If you do not know what eyebrows on fleek means, mm, honey, this is overdone. This is not on fleek. After completing your definitely not on fleek eyebrows, to make them on fleek, you're going to just be cleaning them up and I'm going to be using my concealing brush with my concealer and cleaning it up and then just blending in that concealer with my fingers. struggling with the traffic noise so I won't be able to talk in videos as you can tell but also I've been struggling about where I should film I'm now literally cornered in a tiny little corner here's my window here's my bed I'm in this tiny little corner so tell me what you think of my new background if you like it yes no approval disapproval let me know before applying any concealer to the eyes or to the face, I just want to make sure that all my makeup is blended in properly. So I'm just going to be going over my face once again with that flat Rockabelle Cosmetics foundation brush. With any concealer that you are comfortable with and a concealing brush, you're going to start concealing your eyes from the inner corners and extending it outward. When you are highlighting your face, you want to just keep in consideration your face shape. So for my face shape, I do have a round face and I do want to elongate my face. And then to, in order to elongate my face, I'm going to have to draw my concealer going downwards. And if you have any other face shape that's not a round face, you would extend it going outwards. But I decided to do both ways because, you know, YOLO. With that same foundation brush, I'm just going to be buffing this into my skin. Before applying any powder products to your face, you want to just make sure that there's no creases anywhere. So I'm going to be taking a damp triangular brush and dipping that into my face powder, setting powder. And I'm going to be applying this to my face starting from the under eyes and bringing it downwards. You want to make sure you're using a lot of product. Don't worry, you're going to be dusting it off within 5 minutes. And while you're dusting it off, you might as well just buff it into the skin as well. Now onto contouring, my most favorite thing to do ever. So I'm just going to take my cream contour kit and I'm going to go in with a lighter shade I have. When you're doing extreme contouring, you will be using cream, but if you're doing light contouring, you're going to use powder. If you want to, you can suck your cheeks in like a little fishy. But that just hurts, so this is the easier way. Yes, with contouring, there is a right way and there is a wrong way. So I'm going to be showing you the right way of contouring. So you're going to be starting from the top of the ear and you're going to be extending it down and not going too far. The furthest point you want to go with contouring is by the arch of the brow. You do not want to go any further than that because you're just going to create mess. When contouring, you want to make sure that the thickest part is by your ear. So when you are extending the line for your contouring, when you're finishing at the brow, you want to make sure that's the thinnest part of your contour. When contouring the forehead, you do not want to go too far because you're going to create a messy look. So this is the furthest point you're going to be taking your contour. Thank you. 
when contouring the forehead you do not want to take it too far down so you're just going to do light brush strokes near the hairline This step is definitely not necessary, but because we're doing extreme contouring, I'm going to be doing it. If you do not have a double chin, this step is definitely not necessary for you. But if you do, then keep on watching this part. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be extending that contour line from the back of the ear and following my natural draw line. You do not want to go too high or else you're just going to make your face look muddy. I do see this step being done a lot on YouTube and on Instagram. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be extending my chin. It's weird. I know it sounds weird. So what I'm going to be doing is from that chin line, you're just going to be drawing a half circle and you're going to just fill that in. Just like I'm doing now. If I didn't explain that right, just look at the picture. Now when you're buffing in the product with the jawline, you want to make sure that you're going downwards with the jawline. As far as I know, no one has told me, so if I'm doing it wrong, please tell me. When buffing in the hollows of the cheeks, you want to make sure that you are buffing it upwards. Because you do not want to buff it downwards because you're going to be hiding the part of your face that you want to bring out. You want to make this look like a shadow. Then you're going to be taking a loose powder and you're going to be setting everything because you use cream. You want to make sure that it stays in place. In order for it to stay in place, you need to set it with powder. And that is the completed video for my extreme contouring. If you'd like to know how to do more of an everyday contouring, I have done it before in my previous videos. But if you want a more in-depth video like this one when it comes to everyday powder contouring please leave a comment in the comment section below and i will make sure i do it for you thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time